Hey guys, Gilles here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. I love traveling. I love meeting new people, exploring new places, and learning about new cultures and languages. And recently I traveled to Crete, one of the Greek islands, but what I would love to do is actually travel to India. I've already traveled a lot, and most of the time I try to make a travel video for my travels, but I always wanted to have a cool travel map intro, like the Indiana Jones movies. And I never really found an easy way to create one of those. Until now. So without any further ado, let's make a super cool travel map intro. Now first we need a stock photo or a custom photo of a world map. And I found a couple of these online on stock sites, and I think I'm going for this one right here. Then I'm going to head over into Premiere Pro and drag it into the timeline. And first I'm going to make a flight path. And since I live in Belgium and really want to visit India, I'm going to make a path from Belgium to India. Now I'm going to do this by going to the Essential Graphics panel and making a new rectangle. I'm going to make this all the way from Belgium to India, and then I'm placing a keyframe at the vector shape path at the end of my clip. Then I'm going to the beginning and adjust the path so it's barely visible. If we now play this, it will look like a travel path where you fly over the map. And this is already looking really cool, but we're going to make it even more awesome because we're going to make it 3D. Wait, what? Hell yeah, we're going to make this 3D inside Premiere Pro. Now first we're going to nest the map layer and the graphic layer together. Let's call it Travel Path. And then we're going to apply the lens distortion effect to it and adjust the curvature so it looks a bit less flat. Pun intended, Flat Earth Society. Okay, next we're going to apply the basic 3D effect and we're going to animate the swivel and tilt over time. So we'll place a keyframe at the beginning of our clip for both those properties and then go further in time and adjust them so it looks like we're making a camera movement over the map. Then we're going to use the transform effect to clean everything up. First, set the motion blur to 180 and deselect this checkbox right here. Then adjust the position and scale. And once again, we're going to place keyframes in the beginning, then head over to the end of the clip and adjust the scale and position so that India is visible on screen, but without having any borders on the edges. And then we're going to select all the beginning keyframes and ease them out and select all the end keyframes and ease them in. Now, if you don't know how to do this, just right click on them and select time interpolation, ease in or ease out. Ooh, looks really cool already. Now let's add a finishing touch to it. We're going to nest this again and let's name it Travel Map Intro. Then we're going to apply the Lighting Effects effect to it. Now this will create a light source which makes it look like it's a real map laying on your desk or living room. Now change the lighting and color of the lighting to your likings and voila, here we have the final result. Now, of course, if you want to get this even more next level, you can always add extra elements like text layers, graphic elements like location tags, or you can just add videos in there and play around with opacity and blend modes. And that's it for this week, guys. Let me know in the comments below which country you are from and which country you really, really want to visit. I'm super curious to know. I'll see you guys next week. And as always, stay creative. <laughs>